Hi everyone, so we're going to do some steps or what is the proper steps into making a processor in the loop with uh, STM32 products. So this is using the STM32 MAT package which the SD uh, group has made for users of MATLAB. And the first thing that you, you would actually get is their example files, which is a uh, IRR filter. So this model is a uh, just the IRR filter with a reference model of the algorithm and a, uh, a simulation model of the algorithm just to test out if my my codes or generated codes in MATLAB would be uh, similar as what I have simulated in the real in in the simulic environment. So the first thing that you need to take note is that in the configuration parameters, you need to set these things correctly. So see, uh, this is where the location of your SDM cube and uh, the update installed path would actually automatic would automatically place in the right folder of your stm32 uh, one thing you need to take note is that in the pil block uh, it should have the same values uh, the folder directory the stm cube and the stm32 mat and also it should be set as processor in the loop so yeah there so one thing you just need to do is just press the play button. So in the background, MATLAB will try to generate the codes. So this is the code that's been generated. And it's up, it's actually your choice on what tool chain you'll be using. But for now, let's just use the MDK ARM uh, version the V5. And then when you press OK, the STM cube MX would actually pop up. And with that set up, uh, one thing that is not correct is the clock configuration, which uh, probably because I'm using the STM32 discovery board, F4 discovery board, so it's actually up at 168 megahertz. And let's just set it there. Then after that, let's save the file. After saving, in the project settings, we need to uh, click on add necessary library files as reference in the tool chain project configuration file. So, yeah, so with this one, let's just click OK and save and then generate the code. So, once generated, let's just open the folder. If it will not open the folder, you can manually go through the files. So it's in SM2 demo, code generation. It's in the PIO. It's actually in the project. And you need, uh, you would notice that this is generated as the same time as what I have right now, which is 114. Let's just go into the uh, kill version. Uh, let's build the project. Then after building your project, after building the project, then we can click on the bug mode. Then after clicking bug mode, let's just press OK. Then run on debug mode. So your SD is already running. Then in your uh, MATLAB in environment, you can click on start. So you would notice that if you have your uh, this uh, converter, USB converter, it will be running. Uh, your MATLAB, will, your simulink will be running. And that's the processor in the loop steps for STM32.